Namaste everyone, my name is Payal and you're watching Yoga and Me. I welcome you to another session. Today we're gonna take a short but effective yoga practice to do in the morning. This practice will have a little bit of everything and will give you a full energy boost right in the morning itself. So let's get started. And for this class, it's a no prop class. Just sit on your heels, pressing the tops of your feet, sitting in Vajrasana, hands on your thighs and start to breathe and relax. Surrender your body to your mat and find your deep yogic breath. Breathe in, breathe out. We will open this practice with one round of classical Surya Namaskar. If you are not sure how to do this, I will share the link down in the description box. Please check it out before you start this video. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, take your side bend. Stay grounded with your hips. Breathe in, breathe out. Twist, breathe into center, breathe out. Other side. Now take your hands behind you and see if you can lift your knees off the mat a couple of inches. Pressing the tops of your feet. Keep breathing and slowly release. Well done. Make your way for tabletop position. Hands and knees. Inhale, kick the right heel up towards the ceiling. Drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, draw the knee into your chest. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale, step the right foot forward in between your hands. Low lunge, we need our feet hip width apart. Looking forward, hips down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. Moving into quad stretch, so plant your left hand down and your right hand reaches towards the back of your mat by drawing your right shoulder back. Now without lifting your hips, see if you can hold on to your left foot. Breathing in, breathing out. Slowly release the foot, face forward. Kick your right leg back, high plank push-up position, breathe in, breathe out, slowly come down the way you want to, inhale, lift your head, chest and palms off the mat, breathe out, inhale to lift, exhale, one more breathe in, try not to lift your legs, breathe out, tabletop position, left side. Inhale, kick your left heel up this time and draw the knee in on the exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale and exhale. Step the left foot forward, low lunge, Anjaneyasana. Breathe in, breathe out, look forward and keep pressing your hips down, melting into the mat. Moving into quad stretch, so plant your right hand down, left hand reaches back towards the back of your mat and maybe catching hold of your right foot. If the foot is too far for you, you can absolutely use a belt here and draw the foot into your hips. At the same time, keep drawing your left shoulder back and find your twist. Breathing in, breathing out. One more breath and slowly release. Look forward, high plank, push up position, breathe in, breathe out. Three cobras, we're gonna lift hands as well. So press your legs down first, breathe in to lift, breathe out. Inhale and exhale. One more, exhale. Table top and from there tuck your toes under, lift up and back for your first downward facing dog, Adho Mukha 
inverted V position, hands shoulder width apart, feet hip width apart. Micro bend your knees if your heels are not touching the mat, lifting the tailbone as high as possible. Spread the fingers wide and now walk your feet slowly coming to the front of the mat. Bend your knees generously, take your rag doll fold, not lifting yet. Upper body is dangling. Release the hands in front of you, working with the inner thighs now. Widen your feet towards the edges or slightly wider than your hips. Turn the toes out slightly and lower down into your yogic squat or malasana. Stay lifted with your chest and keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. An excellent stretch for your inner thigh muscles, lower back, hips, muscles around your pelvis and your lower belly. Strengthens your bowel movements. Slowly release the hands in front of you. Turn your toes in. Keep the knee bent and slowly lift inch by inch to find an upright position facing towards the front. Roll the shoulders down and shine your palms forward. Feet hip width apart and parallel. Tadasana. Lifting up through the kneecaps, lower belly in, pelvis tight, engaging your bandhas, Mula Bandha, Udhyana Bandha. Preparing for one round of Surya Namaskar. So join the palms together, Pranamasana, one full breath here. Inhale, reach your arms up and arch back, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, fold over, Uttanasana. Breathe in, right leg goes back, right knee down, point the toes back, equestrian, Ashva Sanchalanasana. Hold your inhale, high plank, lower belly in, exhale, knee, chest, chin, Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale, slide the chest forward, point the toes back, Bhujangasana, keeping your lower ribs down and elbows hugging in. Exhale, lift up and back, Adho Mukashvanasana. Inhale, right foot forward in between your hands. Left knee down, equestrian Ashwa Sanchalasana. Exhale, left foot forward, feet hip width apart. Fold over Uttanasana. Inhale, lift up and arch back, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Pranamasana. Left side, this is half a round. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, left leg back, knee down, look forward. Hold your inhale, high plank. Exhale, knee, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, Adho Mukashvanasana. This time, left foot, breathe in. Left foot comes forward, right knee down, equestrian. Exhale, right foot forward, fold over Uttanasana. Inhale, lift up and arch back, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Tadasana. We complete one round of classical Surya Namaskar here. Catch your breath. Keep breathing. Find your deep yogic breath. Inhale. And exhale. Now bring your big toes together, heels slightly apart, knees together. We are moving into Utkatasana or chair posture. Hands in prayer position. Deeply bend the knee, seat is low. You should be able to see your toes all the time and chest facing forward. Sitting on an imaginary chair. Now start to twist from here. Hooking your left elbow to your right thigh while maintaining your deep bend into your knees. Draw your right shoulder back. Knees should be together. See if your left knee is overshooting your right. Bring them together. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
lean your weight into your right foot and we're gonna step our left foot back behind us into our high lunge so look down to help you balance if you need and carefully as if you are stepping on your clouds maybe widen your feet now and maintain your twist if you want you can drop your back knee down to find your low lunge with a twist otherwise stay here breathing in breathing out slowly lift up and now find your warrior 2 Vira Bhadrasana 2 if you are not sure about warrior 2 I will put the link for that as well check out heels in one straight line back foot parallel to the back edge front knee bending arms out and gaze at the front middle finger inhale exhale right forearm on your right thigh left arm up and over exhale here breathe in reverse the warrior breathe out extended side angle inhale to reverse try not to disturb your lower body exhale utita parshva konasana breathe in last one breathe out look down frame the front foot high plank or push up position breathe in here breathe out knee chest chin inhale bhujangasana exhale downward facing dog deep breath in bend your knees hips high look in between your hands walk step or hop to the front run the exhale press your stand lift inch by inch Tadasana. face forward Utkatasana or chair posture on the left side the similar sequence big toes together hands in prayer position deeply bend the knees seat is low shift your knees back so that you can see your toes breathe in and breathe out to twist right elbow left thigh maintain your squat knees together keep breathing lower belly in and a big smile it's not that complex trust me breathe in and out lean your weight into your left foot and step your right foot back lunge with a twist if you want you can drop your right knee down this time otherwise stay here but keep your upper body away from your thigh try not to put all the weight like this use your abdominal strength to hold you in this posture and keep twisting lower belly in don't forget to breathe slowly face forward find your warrior two virabhadrasana two heels in one line capital T alignment with your feet bending the front thigh front knee and gaze forward taking our flow a transition extended side angle to reverse warrior left forearm resting on the exhale right arm up and over inhale lift up and reverse exhale go forward breathe in breathe out just move with your upper body inhale last one you got it back leg straight exhale look down frame the front foot high plank well done breathe in breathe out inhale legs active exhale last downward facing dog stretch out long any little adjustments you need to do breathing in breathing out step the knees down and take your child's pose balasana well deserved rest breathing in breathing out inhale and exhale lift the upper body and make your way on your back we will take 
a back bend now bend your knees feet flat on the mat and knees are not going wider than your hips breathe in lift up for your bridge posture interlace the fingers keep rolling your thighs in if you want you can absolutely stay here otherwise move into full wheel or chakrasana release the interlace hands underneath your shoulders fingertips facing towards your legs so first lift up onto the top of your head and then all the way up gaze in between your hands try not to widen your knees keep them rolling in and keep breathing breathing in breathing out an excellent chest opener a wonderful back pain but if you have any lower back issues please consult your physician slowly come to the top of your head if you are in full wheel if you are in setu bandhasana release the interlace arms by the side and slowly uncurl down on the exhale hug your knees into your chest and just drop your knees from side to side well done slowly roll on to one side and lift yourself up taking some forward fold and twist here so first bend both knees bring the soles together moving into butterfly fold or baddha konasana fold breathe in if your knees are high then you can stay here or maybe on to your forearms otherwise see if you can fold down leading with your chest spine long folding over any extent it is very crucial to do forward folds after your back bends to protect your spine and to give it a good counter stretch slowly start to lift moving into side bend so bend your right knee and open your left leg out keeping the toes flexed hold your right foot with your opposite hand which is your left hand breathe in reach your right arm up and over towards your left leg any amount but just to reach that foot try not to face your chest down keep rolling this shoulder back chest up and then bend doesn't matter how far you can go breathing in and out slowly on the inhale lift and then switch sides slowly lift up and make your way to a seated position cross legged legs hands in prayer position take a moment here and just observe your body how you are feeling now to what you were feeling before when you first stepped on to your mat breathe in and out thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it please share your feedback and your comments down in the comment section i would love to read them and if you have any questions please write me down i will try to answer them as soon as possible i upload new videos every thursday and every sunday please subscribe to the channel share the video and if you like it then hit the like button i will see you in my next video very very soon till then bye bye and take care namaste